The Texas rules of evidence govern how courts determine whether to admit evidence during a hearing. The latest version of these rules is available at txcourts.gov. Step 1. Familiarize yourself with the Texas rules of evidence. These rules apply to most state courts in Texas. In justice courts, the judge will decide whether to apply these rules. Regardless, the rules of evidence will help you find the best evidence for your case. Be sure that the rules that you are reviewing are up to date. Step two, review your court's local rules as well as any other rules of court. The Texas Judicial Branch publishes each Texas county's local rules to their website at txcourts.gov. Local rules establish procedures for filing, scheduling, and submitting evidence. Some courts post rules of practice that specify conduct of the parties and pretrial procedures that might apply like submitting and sharing evidence. Check your court's website or contact your court's clerk for more information. Step three, once you have reviewed all of the rules, you will need to research any standing orders in your court. Judges issue standing orders to control the conduct of parties in a pending case. Any standing orders will also be found at txcourts.gov or through your court's website. Step four, now that you're familiar with these rules, it is time to gather your best evidence. The most important rule of evidence is relevance. Relevant evidence makes a fact that is central to the case more or less likely. For instance, evidence of a debt repayment plan is relevant in a debt collection case. Step five, once you're done gathering your evidence, you can organize it as it relates to the rules. Gather written documents, recordings, and photographs to compare with the articles nine and 10 of the rules of evidence. Gather your out of court statements, also known as hearsay, to compare with article eight. Gather your planned opinion and expert testimonies to compare with Article 7. Make sure your sensitive evidence properly falls under the Article 5 rules of privilege. Lastly, make sure that relevant material is not unduly prejudicial to the other party or excluded under the Article 4 rules and exceptions. Comparing your evidence to these rules can prevent surprise at your hearing. If you have questions about the rules of evidence, please consult a lawyer or visit texaslawhelp.org. Next, you can prepare for claims for or against the evidence. This is also known as objecting or claiming error in a ruling on evidence. Both parties to a hearing have the right to object to evidence. You must state the specific ground for your objection or you risk waiving that right and having unfit evidence admitted into court. If an objection is made against you and the judge rules in favor of the objector, you have a right to preserve that question for appeal if you think the judge made an error. This is known as offer of proof. When making an offer of proof, you will present the evidence or testimony to a judge explaining why it should be admitted. You must make the offer of proof in order to preserve the evidence for appeal. Offers of proof must be made as soon as possible and outside of the jury's presence. Congratulations! You know the basics of the Texas Rules of Evidence. This is not a complete list. Be sure to review Texas Law Help's information on evidence, the rules of evidence, and discovery. If you're confused about a particular piece of evidence, consult with an attorney or visit texaslawhelp.org.